actually embrace AI in a way to assist the thousands and millions of doctors that we have in our country, especially in a country like ours. We are at the cusp of a revolution. AI with machine learning, with deep learning, intelligent robotic, robotics, uh, the scene is now set to change and change very rapidly. Dr. Arjun, are you using artificial intelligence in pathology and how do you see the future of artificial intelligence in pathology? So thank you for this question and very relevant today where we stand at the crossroads of medicine and technology. I think it stands to transform the fabric of how uh, medical care is actually delivered to patients today. Um, we should actually embrace AI in a way to assist the thousands and millions of doctors that we have in our country, especially in a country like ours, where last mile delivery is an issue with a major gap in the healthcare uh, uh, persons that we have and the professionals that we have. AI actually reduces patients' costs in the long run and also increases the impact that we can have on their entire patient care continuum. There was a study by McKenzie that said that the impact is about 30% more and the overall costs will be driven down by about half. So I think that is significant. When we talk about diagnostics, AI is now starting to play a crucial role, uh, not only in radiology where there is a lot of stuff happening, but more to uh, my expertise that is in the field of pathology, we have uh, machines and completely automated equipment that actually flag abnormalities in a particular sample before it reaches the doctor for any kind of interpretation. This means that the AI is actually assisting the doctor. AI will never be able to replace the doctor, but it will be an assistant to the doctor that is going to help identify crucial abnormalities in the essence of time so that we can empower the physicians to give a better diagnosis and hence a better treatment as well. It involves certain challenges as well. Yes, so uh, of course uh, with any kind of innovation there are certain things that one must be careful about. AI comes with these challenges as well. AI basically involves a lot of data sets that is again um, gotten from the patients. So the consent of the patient is very important whenever you use any kind of data that is used to leverage any AI module. Also, apart from this, the issue of cybersecurity is very critical when it comes to doing anything digital because at the end of the day, we have patient data that is very, very important and crucial to keep safe. Also, the validation of these AI equipment is extremely important because at the end of the day, these are patient samples that they are analyzing and we won't want anything missed out. Although whenever we use AI, it is under the supervision and also confirmation by a specialist doctor. So I think th these are the few challenges that we should all collaborate and find solutions for. How do you see artificial the use of artificial intelligence in healthcare? Clearly, uh, artificial intelligence as a technology is uh, going to change healthcare practice, public health, and health professional education. We are at the cusp of a revolution. Uh, digital health has been evolving period of time, but with AI, with machine learning, with deep learning, intelligent robotic, robotics, uh, the scene is now set to change and change very rapidly. Uh, today's summit, uh, already we can see some very significant developments that are happening at a rapid pace. And, uh, well, India's destiny is to lead the world in digital health, and India's destiny is to lead the world in AI for health, and that's the endeavor that we should really work toward. Uh, policy enablers, private sector, industry, academia, and contribute to the health of India, India's people, and the people at large in the globe. Thank Sir, you. As you said, it involves certain challenges also. Indeed, there are challenges because this is a technology which is uh, absolutely new. 
Many aspects of this are unforeseen. We are still learning about them. Uh, the obvious challenges are related to privacy, uh, the ethics. Uh, one concern is, of course, uh, uh, will it offset jobs? That's another angle. But then one other concern is its correct decision making. Because in medicine, correct decision making is very important. So the decision that is made by through artificial intelligence or artificial intelligence wisdom should be accurate, should lead toward the rightful pathway for health or health decision making and that's a challenge and we hope that with increasing maturation of the AI systems we will have sufficient confidence that the decision made by AI uh, can be respected and can be implemented. Sir, health budget is going to be announced soon. What we can expect? Well, I think you should propose this question to Honorable Finance Minister. We are looking forward to uh, getting more di direction and uh, ideas and uh, uh, and uh, you know, policy uh, enabling uh, thoughts of the of the of the government for us to take the health forward with even more energy. Sir, you interacted with Ria. How do you see the future of uh, uh, India in healthcare with the help of artificial intelligence? Yeah, artificial intelligence has a lot of scope. Because in our country, the medical services are not uniform across the country. In the rural areas, in tier 3 cities, we have, a, we have much less of medical professionals, whether they are nurses or doctors or allied health professionals. So there, uh, these developments by RIA, in future they can uh, provide a lot of help to our underserved areas where we are not able to get the regular professionals. Apart from that, during COVID, I saw that uh, it was very difficult to get people into the wards uh, to help the patients who were in the wards even for routine tasks like giving them food or taking them to the washrooms. So in the, such areas, whether we can have AI robotics, uh, even for simple tasks like the OPD, like the registration in the OPD or taking people on a wheelchair. So I can, you can think of so many tasks which can be performed by such humanoids. So AI per se, because we are using, uh, we can, there, is a, there are huge data sets with us of non-communicable diseases, of TB, of communicable diseases, of vaccination, and all these data sets are independent. First is that we use these data sets independently to mine their data, make predictions about the disease, and then interact between these two data sets and see whether if we have vaccinated in a certain area or we have missed vaccination in a certain area, what are the outcomes of disease in that particular area over the years. So I think the potential is very huge and uh, apart from that, diagnostic is another area where AI can be used in a big way.